Okay, uh, this is just a quick little basic tutorial on how to make your Windows XP start up and run a little bit faster than, uh, than if it's running really slow, if you're on a really bad computer or something. Okay, here's one thing you can do is if you have a lot of desktop icons, like I used to always have them like covering the whole screen, you can make a new folder called Desktop. First, first, like, delete all the ones that you don't need, like, I just made these, for example, you know, like, say I didn't need those, you know, and I don't need a, I mean, I like Minesweaver, but I don't need a shortcut to it, so, and since it's just a shortcut, I'm just deleting a shortcut, and I don't need a shortcut to QuickTime, I don't need a shortcut to Xfire, because I just have, I just have that right on my start menu, and this is pretty easy to access to, you know, and then, uh, then you can just drag these you can just drag these uh these folders if you need them into your desktop folder you can also drag shortcuts in there too I'm not going to do it cuz i want that on my desktop see oops see now uh there we go now now it should be running you know you can do this all your stuff i'm just not going to cuz i don't want to and for and then you can right click on your desktop, go to properties, and then themes make it say Windows Classic and I'll change it to like this this little view that'll make it run a lot faster. Then change your uh desktop background to none. Apply, okay, yeah. And then screensaver to just what the I don't need now that's set to that. Just to blank. Here, wait a sec. Uh oh, whoops. See, woo. And uh, appearance, that doesn't matter. And then you could set this down to 800 by 600, but there's no point in doing that. Okay. And uh, I have to bring that back really quick. Hang on, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Okay, uh,. I had to bring everything back to how it was because I don't like that view at all. But if you really want speed, that's what you gotta do. Anyway, here's some more things you can do. Right click on your My Computer and start or on the desktop, doesn't matter. And then go to the. I think it's advanced, yes. Now, performance. Okay, now your visual effects. Set that to custom. Yeah, you can set it for best performance, then just unchecks everything right away if you really don't care. Best appearance, check everything. You don't want that. But if you want custom, oh darn it. Let me cancel this really quick. Okay, custom. Then here's what I have. See, I like the v visual styles is like the silver. And then this has something to do with, otherwise, it comes up, the icons just look really stupid. Play around with it. Then, uh,. Background image for each folder type that has something to do with the icons that makes it look stupid. Smooth edges of screen fonts that also has something to do with the icons. I think some of these just stage checked for some reason. Then uh, show that just makes it so that I can drag this and still see what's inside it. For show shadow, I mean show uh, window content. I don't like it when it's just a little box. And I don't really need this one, but I think it keeps coming back on its own. Then this one just makes it so that it animates when you minimize and maximize. I don't think I, I had any of those set, but for some reason they're on. Anyway, if you're in the other one, if you're in the weird crappy view, then the classic one, then you can just uncheck all those. I just like the way it looks and I don't care, so. But you can do that and that'll speed it up. Okay. Then here's one more thing we can do. This will speed up your startup. Go to start, run, then type in at m s config m s c o n f i g and then click ok or hit enter it doesn't matter and it should come up with this little window then just go to startup and uncheck everything that's really that's not important in startup you know like i don't need to start this this is just some stupid glitching airline program and i don't want xfire to start cuz that just takes up like all the pro all the power at startup and makes it take it forever you don't need this stupid thing i don't need that and i don't need itunes helper whatever so but uh, all these seem pretty important I kind of research like just type in these names on Google or 
make this longer and type in these names if that doesn't work, the hp.exe, whatever. And I'll tell you exactly what that is and if it's okay to, um, to, uh, delete it or not. I mean, make it not start up, you're not actually deleting it. You're just making it so that it doesn't start. And these ones, you can also take off some of these, but some of these can be important, so I just didn't get rid of any of them because I don't care. You have to restart after you do that. You don't. I mean, you don't have to because they'll start without. But I didn't edit anything, so I don't even care. So anyway, uh, those are just a few ways that you can speed it up a little bit. Um, that's pretty much it. You can also edit the visual stuff in your programs and other things, but I'm not going to show that because I don't. Because you probably don't have the same programs as me, so it doesn't matter.